Okay, hello dear friends. Good morning. Such a beautiful, beautiful morning. And we learn practice about chain rules. So when we practice chain rule, first we will see when we need to use chain rule. We have a function y equal to x to the power of 8 plus um, uh, 3 over x squared plus 1. And do we need to use chain rule? We do not need to use chain rule because this is the exponential, this is the power. And under the power, the x, the variable is x by itself. The workhorse is x, only one variable. And uh, without uh, a, a complicated plus two plus a function. So this is the place where you, can, you do not need to use chain rule. And if we want to find the derivative, we can easily do like this, not easily do. We can rewrite, uh, write this uh, fraction form into power form, uh, equal to x to the power of 8 plus 3, x to the power of negative 2, right, plus 1. Did I change anything? I did not change anything. I completely rewrite it with a different way of writing, but the function, the equation did not change. Now we look for the prime derivative of it. <clears throat> we just use the, the sum rule, do the derivative of each one. x to the power of 8, the derivative, first derivative is 8, Take out 8 and the power minus 1. 8 minus 1 is 7. So 8x to the power of 7. And the second one, the second term, x to the power of negative 2. And negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, right? So negative 6 and x to the power negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. And this is a constant. Constant, the, the uh, derivative is 0. So this is the derivative of, uh, of uh, this function. Does not need to use a chain rule. So this one, no chain rule. The title is chain rule. Now we need to work with something that requires chain rule. We have a function y equal to x, 3x plus 3 to the power of 3. So you see here is the power. And under the power, the workhorse under the power is not x by itself. It's x plus 3x plus 3. So here we can take it as a mini function. So how we do it? y prime equal to first we work on the derivative and take this work horse completely regard it as one complete number so 3 to the power of 3x plus 3 3 here and now x minus 3 minus 1 is 2 times. Now we need to work on the inside, the derivative of this inside. 3x plus 3, the deriv derivative is 3. Right? So the result is 9 times. Three x plus three to the power of two, and that is the result. So we can regard it as a correct result. Result, but here we have three and three. It looks just so complicated. Uh, it looks the number not simple enough. We can do this like nine times and take out the three square times. Three square is nine. And 
this inside becomes x plus 1 squared. So it's 81 x plus 1 squared. And this way, it looks much simpler, easier, and each number, each function is coming to its simplest form. Math is, mathematics is about this elegance. Okay, now we will do another chain rule practice. Let me see my practice. Okay, hello dear friends. So let's do another one, x squared plus one to the power of 3 over x minus 1 to the power of 4. So, under the walk, the walk horse, under the power, under power, depressed under power, is not x itself. So, we need to use chain rule. Let's see on the denominator, the walk horse under power is also. So, we both need to use chain rule in denominator and numerator and also this is a fraction so we need to use chain rule chain rule and uh, quotient rule yeah i love quotient rule low d high minus high d low over uh, low square so first we take treat this as a uh, x square plus 1 to the power of 3 is a a equal so <clears throat> this needs to use chain rule right we we figure out the prime of a a prime equal to 3 and we keep the inside keep the workhorse complete no change 3 times x square plus one to the power of two so we we have done one layer of it now we need to do the inside layer the derivative of x plus one x squared plus one is two x now for b we take it as i'm seeing it better let me move a little bit think this way we are a little bit better seeing it. So x minus 1 to the power of 4 is b and b prime the derivative of b is first this is um, this is a composite function so we need to to um, need to figure out use the chain rule so 4 times x minus 1 to the power of 4 minus 1, which is 3 times. So sometimes people ask me why I write x this way, because I want to make it differentiate with the x sign. And to the, the derivative of x minus 1 is 1. Oh, easy. So this is easy. And now we need to use a chain rule for for finding the derivative of this whole function y prime equals low d high low d high low x minus 1 to the power of 4 high d high is oh that's a complicated one times 6x times x squared plus 1 square low d high minus high d low x squared plus 1 cube times 4 x minus 1 cube and uh, low d high low d high minus high and low square x minus 1 to the power of 4 and the square is to the power of 8. Now we just need to do some some uh, x. So now let's take a look what do they have in common and uh, so 
x minus 1 to the power of 4, x minus 1 to the power of 3, at least we can take out x minus 1 to the power of 3, and x squared plus 1 to the power of 2, x squared to the power of 2, we can take out uh, x squared plus 1 to the power of 2, 2, 6, and 4. We can take out a 2. And now the left over from this part is, is x minus 1 times 3x. 3x. And here, what is left over? Left over x minus 1 square, take out. And four there minus two times x square plus one over x minus one to the power of eight. Keep on doing equal to first we work on the numerator two. Uh, x minus 1 to the power of 3, x squared plus 1 squared, and inside times 3x squared minus 3x minus 2 x square minus 2 minus 2 over x minus 1 to the power of 8 equal to I think next uh, 2x minus 1 to the power of 3 x square plus 1 square times x minus x square minus 3x minus 2 I hope I'm right x minus 1 to the power of 8 x minus 1 to the power of 8. Oh, this we can get rid of 5 degrees. So, x minus 1 to the power of 5, because 5, 8 minus 3 is 5, 2 x squared plus 1 square times x square minus 3x minus 2. So this is the final derivative of that one. So when the function is complicated like this, you can see you do need to use quotient rule and you do need to use chain rule. When you cool down, not get stressed, do step by step remember the number rem remember remember the number sign positive negative then you can you can you can do it okay i hope the teacher will not be uh, more complicated than this one except if the teacher really really had a tough night last night Thank you very, very much. Let me know if I got it right. Bye-bye, friends. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do.